Quick picks for the Genesis Invitational. I am going Bryson DeChambeau, bombs away, 18 to 1. Morikawa, 33. Bubba Watson, 55. Leishman, 70. Cam Smith, 100. And I'm going to end up betting Matthew Wolf at 80. Cam Davis will probably be a top 10 for me. I might end up taking a peek back at the top of the board. The guys that would intrigue me, honestly, would be Brooks at 25. Just I think that number is too long versus some just like with Bryson, where that ends up, you know, I end up on Bryson because his odds are just better than Rom, Rory, Justin, Xander, and Dustin. And I think that he's all he's a part of that tier. Brooks is on that tier too. Go ahead. I have bet Bubba. Okay. Uh, got that nice fifty nine. I have bet Tony Finau at twenty seven. As soon as we're done here, I will be betting Colin Morikawa. Okay. And I think I'll go with, I don't know. You make your choice later in the week. They can tune into the Jeff Feinberg yeah, show Yeah, I'll be tomorrow. On Wednesday. Well, yeah. Um, and Bryson or Cantley. And maybe JT comes into that. I'm going to fire a big bullet in that 15, 18 to 1. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be part of that. Cantley does feel like I'm getting cocky. Right? Like, I'm just trying to call something, like, predict something instead of... Well, that's what we do on this show. No, but... We, we pick the people we think are going to win. And then no, we try I, to win money on them. No, I understand that. But that could be, like, overthinking it when, like, JT and Bryson... No, if listen, if you're feeling Cantlay, go with Cantlay. It's not like he's a terrible play here. He's not. He's a good play here. Got the great... He's got... Exceptional current form with exceptional course history. So it's like it's lining up, but I guess that's why he's 18 and not like 26 or five or eight. Like, you know, he is a lot of the times. There's a new respect for Cantley, it feels like, because a lot of the times when all these players are here, he's 25 and above. At least he was all last year. I just happen to think that he's closer to Berger than he is to these top end guys. And I think that Berger is being undervalued. Berger <laughs> and Morikawa seem like the two odds that are wrong in this field. If Finau is going to be at 22. Like, Finau shouldn't be ahead of those guys. I'm going to bet Bryson. Okay. Let's, Big Daddy yeah, Bryson. We're going to, yeah. We'll take that uh, ceiling Bryson. What, what's the ceiling number? 17, 16? Eight, eight, 18. All right. Bryson. All right. One and none picks for the week. As mentioned, Tim is taking Cameron Champ. Tim is actually doing pretty well. We had Paul Casey last week. I had Jason Day last week. I had Harold Varner. Yeah, so you got zero, and Tim and I cash in the six digits for a one and done. Uh, I'm taking Bryson as my one and done. You? Norlander. Tony Finau. Have you not used Tony Finau yet? We're only four events in. Yeah, let me ask you. Have you taken Tony Fino yet? I, I wouldn't be 2999 out of 3,000 uh, if I had used Tony Fino this year, yeah, I tell you. But the picks that we're using in this aren't necessarily the picks that we're using. I have in not this. used Tony Fino. In fact, I'm trying to get a little more aggressive, Pat. By taking good players? A pl player that doesn't win. Yeah, well, you, you need some bucks here. You need to get on the board. At this point, I'm not worried about beating 3,000 other people. I'm going to just try to beat you and Tim, okay? <laughs> well, you're, you're in a big, you're in like a $1.6 million hole to start. Even a win this week wouldn't catch you up to first in our three man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's been a disaster, but I don't, I'm, I'm. You're winning the real money. You're not yeah, concerned about this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not. That's a mini game, as they say. Mini game. So Bryson for me, Finau for you, Champ for Timandacast. 